after so many interviews. Lockdown could legally for global multimedia online TV. I bring you warm and hearty greetings from Global Multimedia Online TV and welcome to this edition of our News and Current Affairs News Feed that brings you top stories making the news in the country. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and all our social media platforms. I am your presenter, Trifina Elizabeth Coca. Let's take our first story. In a bid to strategically approach actors that sometimes compromise and perpetrate SGBV and FGM, Girl Child Network Sierra Leone has started their second phase of one of their leading projects that has to deal with 10 communities in Bombali district around the fight against SGBV and FGM. The organization has ended a day engagement with parents and guardians around three thematic topics raising awareness about girl child protection, recognition of some of the signs of girl child abuses, including how and who to report an issue of girl child abuses related cases. Our reporter, Iris Ajeri, has more. Now, continuation of what we don't start, yeah? And also we have all the meeting we and also so. Then after that meeting, they will get a dialogue with about 50 people and also so. So now they can't separate step into the neighbor. Because for that dialogue, they will get the king and they will also so. They will get mama and papa and they will get the chief and they will get the imam and the pastor. So the session today, now specifically for the parents there and the guardian of parents about child protection. Yeah? So, um, we want to raise awareness about child protection and safeguarding. We want to aim for this training here, so, and for them to recognize what are some of the signs there, so, where if they abuse people, and let not only you be present, we go for say, ah, it's a good thing, God put up. So, now we go for those kind of signs. So, now the second objective that we Then, the final one, now if they abuse people, who are you going to tell? Who are you going to I go for the court that it should be. That was the program's director, Girl Child Network, Sierra Leone, Mabel Jallo, emphatically explaining the motive of the training and things that will be discussed during the training session. This gathering is a continuation of the fight against SGBV and FGM, a project that was funded by Canadian Fund for Local Initiative that is fully implemented by Girl Child Network Sierra Leone. Its first phase was to hold intergenerational dialogue with community stakeholders and players that contribute, compromise and facilitate SGBV and FGM issues. And now in its second phase, parents and guardians from the 10 operational communities in Bombali, six from each has been trained, coached and taught by experienced facilitators. Yaya Kago is the District Social Officer of the Ministry of Social Welfare and the Ministry of Gender and Children's Affairs, who serve as one of the facilitators. Protection, putting that child protection. So if we, if we don't do anything in our home, in our community, but we don't know that child protection. How many people are going to put it in the that child protection will not be this way. Child protection. Now in our first definition, what is child protection? Yeah, huh? Rape, no one. Rape. Not so? Yes. I'm asking that they make it So, in last year, when they give a lot of money, they give a lot of money. They give a lot of money. So, who's my kids? So, they are school days. School days. So, I'm asking that they will. It's simple, child protection, and they good to them. No, they good to them. They are good to them. They are fine. And that they are good to them. They are good to them. They are good to them. for taking care of them. The parents. Yes. Parents. Would I take care of the team? The parents. You have got the Government is not help you. The government of the law, the Child Rights Act of 2007, Section 26, it says parents of the caregiver. Not the one that they don't want to be killed. If you go take that picking day, they need to use your cell phone and see. But they're going to be able to do this. And they're going to be able to do this. Now you have responsibility now for taking care of it. 
So I'm slow as that if you did not tell my mind, Papa, no, no, clear. I have to go, I'll ask for you. If you don't buy what you need, then you will take your family. If you don't say, what will I need? I have to go. Madam Anita is the founder and director of Girl Child Network Sierra Leone, who explains the importance of the training and our expectation from the beneficiaries of the training. We are all now some of us are complicit. We are the support. We are the eye of the two. We are no one for talk in a family business. We are not scatter. How long you go there? We are not scatter. We are last. We are big for secret for go stuff. We are not scatter. 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 When you see now, now you say, go find out anything where we should tell you. Ninety-eight percent is not true, but we are for kick and slap and come on and allow you. We will be there. The time we for pay the food stop, whether make it small, for make it able control and make chop me here. You don't lose them. So now you want me to be here again? Where you don't choose your way? Now we are for it. So you na parent, you na get what you work for you from now. Now in this man they talk, but parents have responsibility. Wait till you say, government get your own part, people right get your own part. And when go against your own part, government get right for all you. The way you make the bad don't happen now. You can't chat chat now. They don't stop. No, it don't happen. So say God, you the protect in the sense you the prevent. See, they don't hire in this what you get for going to place and you post in the family and the community where they go. Now, in the same guy. For many bad things, there are stuff for happening now with family circles, now with school them, now with community. Solving concerns and problems around SGBV and FGM needs a collaborative teamwork of all actors in the community. Reporting for Global Multimedia Online TV News Feed. In another top trending story in the country and the world at large that is related to the fight against rape and sexual penetration is the ongoing 495.28 kilometer walk of Dustin Montgomery and Hundolo Pokawa from Kailan to Freetown, equivalent to 315 miles foot journey. This, according to them, is to demonstrate and call all and sundry to put a stop in all forms of abuse against women and girls, ranging from rape and sexual penetration. This exercise was championed by Rainbow Initiative and other like-minded partners. Let's now join Idris Ajayi to give us more updates. We are working to we are walking to embrace Sarah Lone. Oh, Sarah Lone, we are walking to embrace Sarah Lone. We are walking to embrace. We are walking to embrace. We are walking to embrace Sarah Lone. We are walking to embrace. We are walking to embrace Sarah Lone. We are walking to embrace. We are walking to embrace Sarah Lone. We are from Kailau to Freetown. We are from Kailau to Freetown. Those were the voices of strong, zealous, energetic, and committed civil society activists, humanitarians, human rights activists, lobbyists, and patriots within the northern region Sierra Leone, joining the 495.28 kilometer walk from Kailan to Freetown. And uh, the culture of rape. We already are today with the work for rape. And we don't start at Kailan. Yeah, we go pump for it up. According to the senior communication officer Rainbow Initiative, Bob Lamin, he said. According to our recent data that we have, we've had that we we just updated our website. If you realized, we have about 3,333 rape cases as compared to 2,900 last year. So that tells you it. Well, we do not have empirical evidence to say it's on the increase. But what we are happy about is that people are reporting, and we are happy that people are reporting because the awareness that we are creating is in dividends. But for 
people in Sierra Leone to hear that people are walking, they are taking about 4,495.28 kilometer walk from Kailan to Frita. I think it's eating success. And that's why in every community that they go, people come out in their numbers. We've already seen the people that came out in Makedi to add their voices to what uh, um, Dustin and Indolo are doing. I think it's a step in the right direction. This work attracted many like-minded partners in the fight against all forms of SGBVs, rape and sexual penetration here in Makini during the process from Makambo to Masumbo. In their voices, sensitizing people. Until and unless we end rape in Sierra Leone, we are not going to feel satisfied. Because as long as they continue for rape, we begin them, we they continue for feel victim, we they continue for feel threatening. And so we want to use this opportunity to say no to rape and we will continue. Whilst we the come and we collect and they say, this so far we the so far for car and sweat and work out. Not so because we want for work and let people they see we. Not so because we want for work and let people them blow we block before people them. But not because we want for endure and we want for suffer for let we tell people they say enough is enough. Hindolo and Dustin are still walking the 315 miles journey. From Makini, they will be heading to Lunchad. But according to them, is a way of demonstrating and preaching against rape culture in the country, Africa, and the world at large. This work away with the worker, we must use the day in peace. But imagine what it feel for the woman, the rape woman, and it will live without trauma for the rest of his life. It will live without pain for the rest of his life. This and the worker, this whole the worker for call attention on this barricade where they can happen at this country. As Hindelow has said, rape is not only an issue here in Sierra Leone, but an issue globally. But from walking across the country and meeting with all different communities and all different people, we continue to hear the same story. What Sierra Leone can do and can be is be a beacon of hope for the rest of the world. Rape can end here in McKinney. Rape can end in both. Rape can end in every community that we have come through. It starts with all of us to show the rest of the world that rape can be stopped. Children, so many others like Kadija Sako. So we want you to support you guys, okay? Global Multimedia Online TV, Idris Jerry reporting. Entering into the new year, Global Multimedia Online TV paid an unannounced visit to the McKinney Regional Inferior Hospital to gauge medical administrative in relation to the present condition of the hospital. But with a keen emphasis on the free medical drugs and medication to under five children. Our own Marie Tholi finds out and now files in this report. One of the emphases of the BIO-led government is to strengthen the free medical system, specifically for the under-5 children and pregnant women, which in his view will reduce the infant mortality rate in the country. In an unannounced visit made by Global Multimedia Online TV, engaged the storekeeper of the McKinney Regional Hospital, Madam Fatma Tasherif, who says the Ministry of Health and Sanitation had made donation of free healthcare drugs four times at the McKinney Regional Hospital in 2020, and the last donation was on the 11th November 2020. I'm the storekeeper for Matilda Regional Hospital. By year, they did the yeah, attempt four times. We have some partners here that donate drugs. It depends on the consumption because at times here we have, we have low consumption rate or higher consumption rate. If there is higher consumption, rate, then they will ask for two times or three times per week. But if the consumption is low, at times we usually. It's just a week. We have like injection of zone. We have um, a use some of paracetamol 500 milligram. We have paracetamol 250 milligram. We have family planning.
In an interview with the medical superintendent of the McKinney Regional Hospital, Dr. Mohamed Sheku, he assured the general public that drugs are available and they are ready to give them to the categorized people. Dr. Mohamed Sheku made mention of a challenging issue related to the free medical system. According to him, he said before this time, the free healthcare drugs was for only under five children and pregnant women. As of now, the system has been established to Ebola survivors and persons living with disabilities, which has resulted to an increase in the consumption of drugs before the state at time. Dr. Mohamed Isheku, and I hope for me the medical system of McKinney Government Hospital. One big challenge we get is that uh, before the free attack category, we only cover pregnant women, children under five years, and are fitting mothers. Now, people with disability don't become part of it. Ebola survivors don't become part, uh, survivors don't become part of it. So we find out, say, that small number of people will be the if you say you know, the for benefit from that supply, the number only increase. So if that same quantity they have, you know what we'll do they go down from time. Yeah? So I want to assure the general public, this is not a government facility, it's not a government hospital. We are working for the people of Bombay. If somebody sick, if you are entitled to the free healthcare category, can a hospital make her access to medication? You can get quality medical services and go back home with your body. Beneficiaries express their sincerest thanks and appreciation to the government and the Ministry of Health and Sanitation for bringing short an initiative and they are encouraging others to bring the children to the hospital and have access to this facility. I can't admit me picking a hospital. Tell what thank you. This free medical I will encounter and they treat me picking them fine. Then even the medicine they will they give them then give help them. So I thank you for that. So the free uh, uh, medical in the help we. And they really, really help we because the, any medicine where they really picking, and they help the picking, and they strong, then, then they say we're picking them back. So they tell Papa government thank you for coming out for medical day. Global Multimedia Online TV News Field, I am Maritoli reporting. This is all we have time for in today's edition of Global Multimedia Online TV News Feed. Kindly subscribe to our social media platforms and recommend to others. And also don't forget, COVID-19 is still with us. Please observe all precautionary measures. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a wonderful night and stay blessed. After so many interviews, lockdown could legally for global multimedia online TV.